Greetings, everybody. Today, I have a, such a privilege to sit in front of the Georgian dancer, professional Georgian dancer, who has established the first and only the Georgian Dance Studio here in Minnesota. And today, we're in a beautiful studio here in St. Paul, Minnesota, where we actually teach the Georgian dance. And he's magnificent. He's absolutely stunning. And we have founded that on, uh, in December of 2018. That's when he graciously started to build his team up, the children up, and uh, you should see how they dance. It's absolutely magnificent. And George, can you please tell us, how did you start your passion, your journey about starting this career, or have you thought about moving here and starting such a big global vision of your own studio from Georgia. This is amazing. Thank you, Ilona. Thanks for inviting me, first of all. So the, the, my career started uh, when I was six years old and I became a dancer. I was dancing professional way for 20 years and that was my passion to do and it was my whole passion, of course. And after um, 2014, I got this exchange program to come to the United States and of course, I will never forget my uh, dance and I, once I came here, so it was a, a exchange program for studying, but since I met lots of Georgians like you here and others, and I decided to offer them if I could teach their kids and uh, it, it became really nice to me to meet lots of Georgians, have lots of friends, have mutual cultures and lots of people around us also from other countries and uh, it's been my pleasure to be here in 2018 as you said before so we start this and we keep going so we've been we've been successful because we had lots of concerts already yes but since this uh, unfortunately the pandemic situation show off uh, it's been lots of break for us uh, but hopefully next year in Minnesota we will still participate at the Festival, Festival of Nations yes. and we will go farther more and you know yes. everything will be fine. I'm so proud of what you're doing here for our children and I'm so honored for you to teach my son. <laughs> Yes, I have this I, opportunity. I was, yes, I know. Like when I found out, because I, I absolutely, it can't be my biased opinion. I, I'm not worried about that at all. Georgian dance is by far is the best dance in the world, hands down, out there. The way the men dance on that floor, the way they control that floor, is outstanding. It's just like a martial arts, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I feel that when they are around the women, that women are protected. Yes. You know, they're guarded. And I know in the Georgian dance that men are not allowed to touch women yes. when they dance. And it means mostly yes. Uh, you can touch the men of uh, men can touch the women certain time for example mm -hmm. when you finish to dance but the so here is the like, whole story about how men was taking care of the women yes. the back in the ancient times yes. as you know georgia is really old country and our culture has been mm -hmm. one of our cultural like uh, main major thing is dance mm -hmm. and then how they show it in the real life after so like, for example men's dress uh, as for touch, for example, mm -hmm. does not have to touch the woman's dress. Mm -hmm. But when you dance in front of woman, you have to show how, like, show woman and feel to her how proud is she when you dance yes. with you. That's the whole history. And mm -hmm. you know, as uh, as we go with other dances, each dance has each culture because the Georgia, as you know, yes, it's, has regions. its regions. Yeah. yeah, and there is a uh, more like powerful dances. There is a women dances and. Uh, most of them are uh, mutual yes. together. Yes. My favorite dance is, is that when the man touches the sword and when they dance with it, the way they fly over each other, like I'm telling you, I've never seen any dance represents that and I'm so proud of being part of that culture that when I see that, 
I really feel that they are going to be protecting all the women. And just like you said, because that's that's the culture. You feel safe around Georgian men. You, you know that your children will be well taken care of and also protected with them. So tell me a little bit more about, you know, uh, the dancing with these knives. <laughs> yes, so that's, that this powerful dance comes from the mountain regions from Georgia. Mm -hmm. And at that, that time, of course, there was not uh, other... Uh, guns, right? And people are used to live with swords and shields, and that's that's showing how the most of the mountain people were wearing their dresses, mm -hmm. and then how they were uh, showing uh, they like uh, each moment for the whole like uh, regular day, for example. Mm -hmm. And this powerful dance is really effective, and it's been so famous. Um, that's called Hetsuruli. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, there is fighting about women. Yes, <laughs> that's what I love about this. Yeah, yeah and, uh, so cool. Yeah, I had pleasure to uh, travel around the world and introdu yes. introduce our culture, uh, Western Europe. But nowadays, I live in the United States, and uh, since I met lots of people, I never seen the frustrated people because everybody's excited to see that. Yes. And I had pleasure to dance and do myself this whole thing. Yeah, that's that's a really great thing. I think. Yes, I know it's such a like such a delicate. It's just knowing your culture and where you come from, you know, and wear that with the dignity and pride, you know, the dance and just movement makes you feel so empowerment, right? Yes. And knowing that our children who have never seen our country, who probably were not born there, but having this opportunity to be a part of this culture is mind blowing. It has been my dream for my children to learn the Georgian dance. I've never wanted the Georgian dance because of the oh, hats, <laughs> women yeah. hats, and I don't wear hats. I cannot stand it. But it's I'm, it makes me so proud to be part from Georgia. You know, being you know from Georgia and just live there and be born there. So, what are your dreams and vision for your dance group? Uh, first of all, what I was going to say, I'm blessed to have these kids and. Uh, show them and teach them our culture. Mm -hmm. I think that's the one, the, the most thing, the great thing you can do uh, as your nationality and as your country mm -hmm. and show people, show this uh, young, uh, young generation how we used to live. As mm -hmm. old Georgian, as you said, uh, they sometimes never been back in Georgia because that's so far from here and also other living situations but hopefully one day, so what we, what we are trying to, my, um, I think we will introduce ourselves, uh, United States, first of all. Mm -hmm. We got 50 states, we are happy we can go. Yeah, we can far. conquer them all. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and uh, there's a lots of Georgian teams around here. Yes. I met some of them when I was traveling in Chicago, mm -hmm. Illinois, yes. and New York. Or, so what I want to do to do this friendship, friendship exchange programs mm -hmm. to do some dances, things, and um, also uh, once we once we reach this point, uh, so some kids, as you said again, uh, I will repeat, they never been in Georgia, right? Mm -hmm. My uh, my passion is to have this Georgian team from Minnesota, from the United States, to go to travel in Georgia and show them how how we are doing here. And then how we how we can perform our traditional dances yes. with the kids not even see the Georgia. Yes. I think that'd be the most uh, uh, goal. I mean, mm -hmm. the most direction from from me from from now to reach this point, which is which takes uh, hopefully some time. But yes, I think yes. it's uh, nothing is. Uh, but it's impossible. Yeah, yes, nothing is possible. impossible. Yes, yes, correct. And I'm so proud of you know like being the part of this dream. To make sure like it accomplishes and see our kids like you said to you know see them happy seeing them fulfilled because yeah. it is part of their culture and you know their identity as well so that's that's mm -hmm. amazing so uh george thank you so much for being part uh, of this you are really things. <laughs> so it's not our first one but we're going to be having like a little bit more to introduce you introduce you know this culture to the world and what are we doing here and as i said to everybody that this georgian dance is the only dance and the first dance group here in Minnesota. So this is the That's something right. to be 
really be proud of. So, and George, thank you so much for doing it for our children. And uh, when you see that you're putting your time to it and effort, that makes you feel so good, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. Uh, thank you so much. Thanks for this opportunity, and I'll be happy to do my best yes. with you guys. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Or as we say in Georgia, Gidi Madloba. Madloba Didi. Now found this well. Okay, this is what you need to know. Anyone that visits Georgia or just comes to Georgia, we make them say this certain phrase. So, are you okay, ready? Do you want to say it? We're going to say it together. So. Okay, ready? Yes. Here we go. Badavitz alshi ririnev. And that means? Uh, frog, frog is croaking in the water. water. So, if you can master this phrase, you can pretty much master any language in Georgia, like any words in Georgia. So it's very important for you to learn that in order for you to be able to converse there in Georgia. So so we can like just say goodbye to them and that, that's it, yeah. right? And then you can always surprise people if you say that. Yes. If you remember that, you can yes. always surprise people. They will, they will be so happy. They would absolutely <laughs> love you and they will, you know, yes, definitely, <laughs> they, will be, they will be so surprised. Yeah. So, okay, thank you so much for being with us. And remember until next time, you need to stay tuned because there's more surprises coming. So he does this. She does. Now this is what we do for fun when we want to relax, when we want to do something fun. So this is what we, we usually have fun. So don't judge us. That's his fault. No. <laughs> so okay, let's I'll do it. it. I'll <laughs>